Right, going to take a look at this uh, miniature plug-in ozone generator. It's a uh, air purifier FA50, an ideal option for air, pu air purification for your home. Now, I have actually, I have had this unboxed and I have plugged it in and used it. It's a neat little device. It's uh, plugs straight into your wall socket. You've got uh, on and off and uh, control for the ozone output. Inside you've got the usual, usual instructions, so we've got this, this is the uh, instruction and guarantee card, management disposal, just the usual stuff, rated at 110 VAC to 240 VAC, 50 60 hertz. Additional user information. Let's just did notice that ozone does not harm the human body during air purification po uh, process. Now that is actually wrong. O ozone is actually highly toxic. What they should say is the amount of ozone that produces is harmless. But still, that could be debated. Wouldn't really trust it. But you see. I wouldn't really operate this in a small confined room because the ozone concentration is going to build up and it's going to get pretty nasty so well to start off with we'll plug it in on the uh, makes a hissing noise which is a coronal discharge and uh, the fans quite noisy and it draws 4.5 watts in the instructions it says uh, 7 watts so, or less than 7 watts 0.03 amps it's probably got a small switch mode supply in it I think so step the voltage up to the uh, high voltage for the, the uh, producing the corona and it's power factor is 0.52 so it's, it's pretty crappy power factor but that doesn't really make a difference if it's in, on a domestic supply plus it's still low power anyway because they rated it to operate, well, because it was rated 110 to 240 volts, let's see if it operates on 110. The transformer is actually push, pushing out 119 volts, that's because there's no heavy load on it. And it works just as good on 110 as it does 240. Let's have a look at the, uh, the power consumption. And it's saying 4.3 watts, so it operates just as well. So, let's take it apart. Let's put that move out of the road. So we've got four screws. If this screwdriver is the right one, yeah, it fits. The only reason why I tried it on 110 volts is just to see if it would work considering they put it because they put it in there on the instruction manual. I mean, you wouldn't take this on, on holiday to North America unless she was in a really bad hotel, which I don't think. Right, so inside we've got a small fan which is rated at 12 volts, a small 12 volt fan, and there's the, uh, the main circuit board. Let's see if this comes out. Of the doesn't look like it's held in by any screws, so this is where I get zapped off the capacitor. So I've got to be careful I'll hold that and if I can. Yeah, it is a switch mode power supply and there's the 400 volt input filter cap. Yep, that's dead. Right, so So the mains comes in and it does go through a fuse. Small column mode suppression. It's the on off switch and the, uh, the power level. What looks like they're doing here is they're stepping the 240 volts down to 12 volts because, well, I'm only guessing it's 12 volts because it's got a 12 volt fan in it. And there's a dedicated switch mode chip there, which is a uh, STF3 F73504. Yeah, it looks like a switch mode driver chip. 
through the uh, step down transformer opto isolator there's the LED for the blue light there's not very good separation between uh, mains and the low voltage output but saying that all it's all enclosed in a case so it doesn't really make any difference there's no exposed parts at all really and I can see a 555 IC on there and that device there is IRF P30 that's a power, that's a power MOSFET that is so yeah so what's happening is they're uh, using a 555 to generate a square wave which uh, operates the gate of the MOSFET which is basically driving this small step up transform and if you look closely on the right there is the uh, primary winding on the left there is a large secondary winding and the output feeds straight to the tube that generates the ozone now that's a small ceramic tube with copper on the outside with I'm presuming that must be stainless steel. What that that does is create a coronal discharge inside the because it is high frequency, probably uh, 15 to 20 kilohertz. So it, the ceramic tube kind of acts like a capacitor, but it, the capacitance generates the uh, coronal discharge inside the tube. And of course, because when the circuit board's placed in here, the airflow, so it's it's uh, I'm get this right, it's placed somewhere like that, so the airflow will come through all these holes and some of it will go through the central ceramic tube and then be converted into ozone. The uh, quality of the circuit board is quite good. It's a fiberglass board so it's high voltage. The only downside to this is the fan makes it a bit noisy. Because this is plugged straight directly into the mains they have included a fuse which is an unusual one but yeah it's a pretty neat device to be honest and uh, it's constructed well. And it produces a uh, considerable amount of ozone. Right. I think that pretty much wraps it up. See you later.